to another video of Reading with Samuel for Kids. Today I'm going to be reading you The Tenth Good Thing About Barney by Judith Viorst and illustrated by Eric Blue Legvad. The Tenth Good Thing About Barney. Barney died last Friday. I was very sad. I cried and I didn't watch television. I cried and I didn't eat my chicken or even the chocolate pudding. I went to bed and I cried. My mother sat down on my bed and she gave me a hug. She said I should think she said we could have a funeral for Barney in the morning. She said I should think of ten, ten, five plus five, ten good things about Barney, so I could tell them at the funeral. I thought and I thought and I thought of good things about Barney. I thought of nine good things, then I fell asleep. In the morning, my mother wrapped Barney in a yellow scarf. My father buried Barney in the ground by a tree in the yard. Annie, my friend from next door, came over with flowers, and I told good things about Barney. Barney was brave, I said, and smart and funny and clean. Also cuddly and handsome, and he only once ate a bird. It was sweet, I said, to hear him purr in my ear, and sometimes he slept on my belly and kept it warm. Those are all good things, said my mother, but I just count nine. I said I would try to think of another one later. At the end of the funeral, we sang a song for Barney. We couldn't remember any cat songs, so we sang one about a pussy willow. Even my father knew the words. Then Annie and I went into the kitchen with, with Mother. She gave us orangeade and butter cookies, and she left the box on the table so we could have seconds. I gave my seconds to Annie. I miss Barney, I said. Annie said Barney was in heaven with lots of cats and angels, drinking cream and eating cans of tuna. Barney was in the ground. Heaven, said Annie. Heaven. So there. The ground, I told her. The ground. You don't know anything. My father came in from the yard and took a cookie. Big mouthed Annie said heaven again. I said ground. Tell her who's right, I asked father. She doesn't know anything. began. Aha, said Annie, and stuck her tongue out at me. And maybe, said my father, Barney isn't. What did I tell you, I said, and, and yanked Annie's braid. Father made me let go. We don't know too much about heaven, he told Annie. We can't, we can't be absolutely sure that it's there. But if it is there, said Annie, in, in her absolutely sure voice, it's bound to have room for Barney and tuna and cream. She finished another cookie and went back home. My, my father told me he had to work in the garden. I said that I would help, but only a little. I told him I didn't like it that Barney was dead. He said, why should I like it? It's sad, he said. He told me that, I, that, it, might feel not, that it might not feel so sad tomorrow. Tomorrow.
told him, I don't see leaves and I don't see flowers. Things change in the ground, said my father. In the ground, everything changes. Will Barney change too, I asked him. Oh, yes, said my father. He'll change until he's part of the ground in the garden. And then I asked, will, will he help to make flowers and leaves? He will, he, he will, said my father. He'll help grow the flowers and he'll help grow that tree and some grass. You know, he said, that's a pretty nice job for a cat. My father and I planted all of the seeds in the garden. Mother made sandwiches and we ate them under the tree. After lunch, we, we worked in the garden some more. At night, I still didn't want to watch any television. When I turned out the light, my mother sat down on my bed. She gave me a hug, and I said I had something to tell her. Listen, I said, and I told the good things about Barney. Barney was brave, I said, and smart and funny and clean. Also cuddly and handsome, and he only once ate a bird. It was sweet, I said, to, to hear him purr in my ear. And sometimes he slept on my belly and kept it warm. Those are all good things, said my, said my mother. But I still just count nine. Yes, I said, but now I have another. Barney is in the ground and he's helping grow flowers. You know, I said, that's a pretty nice job for a cat. The end. Thank you for watching Reading with Samuel for Kids.